There's nothing better, early start, shower, shave, eager and keen and ready to start your day. And then lockdown hits. And there's a few more challenges we've got to overcome. Now, do you ever ask yourself, why am I watching what I'm watching? And surely over the last 60 seconds, you've asked yourself that exact same question. I can't answer that, I'm afraid, not on your behalf anyway. All I can tell you is that, uh, as I've already mentioned, lockdown has hit. We've got to find new ways of making some content and uh, we've got to get a little bit creative, I think. Uh, reduces infections, improves brain function and mood, contributes to losing weight and prevents diseases. Does it mention COVID? It doesn't mention COVID, no. Why are you going to get us some? Definitely. I think that could seriously help. Mm -hmm. That was the health benefits of, what's it called? Matcha latte. Matcha latte. Richard just said that um, they would expect them on the 18th of Jan. What? These uh, leather patches. For the new hats. So we should have them, yeah, not long after. Hey, yeah, uh, we're in lockdown, but like any good boss, I'm determined to have a Christmas party to remember. How oh, do you know the difference? You've got, gra you've got gravy names. Yeah. Uh, it's oh, this is mine. Yeah. Then this must be mine. Merry Christmas. Mm. Sit down, Pam. Right, Sit. Do you know what this is? What do you mean? Do you know what this is? No. A mukbang. A what? Mukbang. What's that mean? Eating in the car. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Where is that? Just eating on camp. I've only just noticed all the gravies have now got a a pouring yeah. spout on them. Mm. Technology is fantastic, isn't it? Like the way things come on. Mm. You should have had uh, that. Should be on camera. Yeah. What do you call it? a gravy burger? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know what it's a bit like? What? It's a bit like Mark and Zavala. Hmm. Except they have, they have a laugh. Hmm. Hmm. I think in all seriousness, though, you should like introduce yourself. Hmm. So to avoid any confusion as to why we're sat in the car together and you should be in whatever it is, bubbles and all them kind of things. Hannah, the person who's been on the, uh, well not really been showing much of herself on the camera, but doing the editing over the last six weeks, is actually my daughter. So uh, that's why hence Penny is her dog and that's why we're all kind of always together on camera for the time being. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. When you when you compare this to previous Christmas parties that you've been on, mm. where would this rank? It's up there. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so it is um it is the day after Boxing Day, whatever, I don't know, or maybe it's not two days after. Anyway, we, we do have a, or I have a real problem in that um, we've not been able to resolve is, uh, I need I need a golf course to film on. I didn't quite realize just, so when I do a review or review a product, I think it's often, sometimes reviews are dismissed as kind of easy content. I find them really difficult because I would never pass uh, a judgment on a club unless, um, always the odd exception always get dry ball data certainly will with new products being released for uh, for jam uh, always want to try it on the course uh, and i think until you've done both of those things it's impossible to give it a fair assessment and an opinion so not having a golf course to film on um is is obviously a major thing because we've got i'd say i've sort of got 50 percent of the products that have been released in January, and believe me, there are a lot. Uh, I've got 50% of them already done, so already tried out on the course, and, and obviously half of them left that are not. 
So I need to find a solution and uh, I'm gonna have to find a golf course um, in England that uh, will allow me to have some access to the course. And uh, I think first port of call, I'm, I'm gonna go, we're gonna start at the top. <laughs> well, let's hope this works out. And uh, I'm gonna try and get what would be uh, my first choice at least as uh, a replacement for the next few weeks for not being able to use Conway. So uh, we need the phone. We need to get sending a message, I think, and uh, keep them fingers crossed. So I'm gonna have to ask a friend of mine if we can get access to what is a superb golf course. It'd be great for filming. And uh, ironically, the the, uh, the thing is, what's weird is that uh, it just blows my mind. Let's just put that to one side for a minute. I live in Wales um, and literally on the Welsh border, about uh, oh, six, five or six mile away, uh, I'm in England. And literally when you cross over that border, all golf courses are open. It's just, it blows your mind. It is hard to understand, even I think, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right, even tier four areas in England, golf courses are open. It's just so disjointed and uh, look, I mean, it, it just makes no sense whatsoever. But like I said, this is a job now for me, this is work, so I've got to find a course. Anyway, back to the message, let's see if we can get sorted. Keep them fingers crossed for me. Fantastic news, my man has come good. It's time to go on a little bit of a recce and uh, get prepared. We've got a new golf course to film at. I am so pleased. Wallasey Golf Club have come good for me in that I'm going to be filming from here uh, well for the foreseeable future any for the next few weeks at least while Conway and Wales is in lockdown so it's uh, a couple of things really is that I wanted somewhere that was ideal a Lynx track that uh, stayed dry during these winter conditions and to get somewhere as good a quality as Wallasey to film from so that again I can still show you some fantastic backdrops while we're filming what will be essentially product reviews over the next few weeks, but I'm absolutely thrilled that A, I've got somewhere sorted that I can carry on filming from, and B, that it's as good a track as what Wallace is, which you'll see over the videos in, uh, in the near future. How good does that look? It's just a perfect opportunity to grab a few photographs and uh, give you a little bit of a taster of uh, what's to come. So I've been working uh, with on a project with Wallasey Golf Club for um, I think it's about the last six or eight weeks. Uh, John McLaughlin has came here as uh, course manager and he's just, um, oh, I, I, I always sing John's praises. Uh, course manager is, uh, it doesn't say enough in terms of what he does. He's a genius in terms of what he does to golf courses. Made a fantastic job at Warrington Golf Course and uh, I think he's going to do an amazing job here uh, at Wallasey. And they've been working on a project which is, um, I can't show you any of that as yet, but it's really transformed uh, several holes already. And I've filmed that progression along the way. And I've come up on this walk to do this recce and I've actually, my wife's with me and uh, I find myself explaining what's gone on and just the enthusiasm. I mean, I'm not a member here. I've just seen these changes take place and it's incredible uh, the vision that these people have um, and, and the way in which they transform golf courses. Honestly, it's uh, like I said, I can't speak highly enough of John McLaughlin. What a, what a, what a man. And the fact that um, we're able to film here, like I said, and uh, show you some of these amazing backdrops is, uh, well, it's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? 